hey there, this is Erica from Ever Educating. And for today's Tuesday tip, we're talking about how to speed up filling out the rubric. So if you do use rubrics in your class, I usually don't, which I talked about before in my holistic grading video, but I am doing it at the university I'm teaching as part of a requirement for the assessment. And so I've been looking at ways of speeding up filling out that rubric. And so my suggestion here is for the first unit, if they're very similar, so in my case, I'm doing three papers of different levels, different topics, different approaches, but they're all papers, okay? So if you have similar activities, then what you can do is for the first one, you can build out the whole rubric. So, you know, the learning outcome one and 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, learning outcome two, and so on and so forth. And you can share that with them on the LMS so that they know exactly what each point of the learning outcome is being graded. But then for the future units, shorten it. So rather than having 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, and they're each worth five points, you can say, okay, as a reminder, you can still see the old rubric, but basically nothing has changed, right? Only this one thing has changed that I mentioned in the second one. So all you're seeing in rubric two is learning outcome one, learning outcome two, learning outcome three, and so on. So rather than having, okay, now I'm filling out a four here, a three here, a five here for the one, two, and three for the first learning outcome, it's just, Learning outcome one, you got 12 points. Learning outcome two, you got 18 points, and so on. So it can really speed up the process because you're giving them the point system for the learning outcomes in general rather than the breakdown. But if a student is like, oh, can I remember what exactly was in that learning outcome? Oh, I can look at the first rubric and see the minutia there. So that can really speed up the process when you're only giving points for the actual whole learning outcome rather than every single detail of each learning outcome, okay? So I found this to make the grading process much faster, and so I recommend it if you have any units that are very similar to one another. Now next week I'm talking about how to make sure that you always have plenty of mentor text to use in your classrooms. So if you wanna make sure not to miss out on that, go ahead and click subscribe below and click the like button as well if you found this tip helpful.